Hi, my name is Raj and I lead the team of demo engineering here at NetBrain. And today I'm excited to talk about NetBrain's automation library and our new automation team spot. Now with our special service, you get access to the automation library. And this automation library consists of more than 60 automation units. Now, and each of these automation units have multiple diagnoses associated with them, which means with our special service, you get access to our ready to use automation library with hundreds of these diagnoses. Now, what are these diagnoses? How did we get to them? Who built them? So NetBrain as a company, we are very good at having a good communication with our customers and identifying that which are some of the top problems that's keeping the engineers awake. So we collected all of these, converted them into diagnoses inside of NetBrain and added them to our automation library. And we're gonna retrofit this library inside of your system. Now, the question is that how do we use this library? While there are multiple ways to access this library, the one that I'm gonna talk about today is so that it is part of your workflow. And one of the things we realized is that Teams has been used widely uh, as a, a collaboration platform. And we wanted to leverage this and, and have NetBrain inside of Teams so that now you can speak with NetBrain and have NetBrain work for you and, and get you what you need. And it is as simple as it is. So how does it work? The first thing you wanna do is select the bot that you wanna troubleshoot with. Now, inside of NetBrain, you get to select multiple of these bots. You can create your own bots and add your diagnosis from the library. We will help you do some basic ones, such as the self-service bot, which means that as the name suggests, you can just go in there and leverage some of these services available. It could be mapping, it could be some basic troubleshooting, some advanced troubleshooting with a self-service option. And the second one is the top problem spot. And, and I'm a big fan of this because what we do is we identify what are some of the top problems or the tickets that comes in in an organization and we can convert them into diagnosis steps. So if I'm getting a QoS problem, all I have to do is go select the QoS option and have NetBrain work for me. So in this scenario, let's take the first example of me being someone who's out of the organization, which means I do not have a direct access to NetBrain, uh, but I could still use the self-service bot and have a portal access and, and then find out the information that I'm looking for. So if I can go and select the tier one troubleshooting, let me select that real quick. NetBrain is going to ask me, so great, in tier one troubleshooting, what are you looking for? And I'm just looking for some basic checks. All right, so what kind of check are we looking for? Uh, are we looking at layer one, layer two, uh, firewall, wireless? And of course, you can add some more in there, security, for example. Uh, I'm just going to go with the basic L1 issues for now. And the next thing it's going to ask you is, what device do you want to work this on? I can definitely leverage the drop-down list here, but I know what I'm, what device I'm looking for. So just to kind of save some time here, I'm just gonna go type in the host name of my router. There you go. All right, so that is ready. And this is how fast it is. Okay, in less than a second, you have the response from NetBrain. You have two links over here. You've got the open NetBrain link and the portal link. Now, if, I'm, if I have access to NetBrain, I can always go with the, the NetBrain link and open this up. But let's say I'm out, I'm from some other organization or, or a department within the company, uh, or maybe I'm a client and, and I'm leveraging this. So I can always use the portal link and get access to our NetBrain portal. And there we go. So as you can see, we have the pretty map right there. It's an L2 map. You can see all the connections right there. And it has the same properties as a regular NetBrain login would. This is your portal screen. And if I zoom in, I start seeing more information. And on the right-hand side, I see the message pane. And inside of the message pane, I see a bunch of diagnoses. And within diagnosis, I can, I can figure out that, hey, it looks like the config and the device check is okay, but then it could be something to do with the IP SLA or the NetFlow. Okay, so then I can always contact I mean, whoever is responsible for this and have them troubleshoot or find out what's the problem. And these diagnoses are nothing but network intents. And these are the intents which is built into the automation library that I spoke about in the beginning. So now you see how simple it is to access NetBrain. So I ch I'm changing the bot here because now I do, I do not want to go with the self-service, but let's say there's a problem that happened and I'm, I have, I'm responsible for 
diagnosing it. So I'm going to go with the top problem spot. There we go. And look at all these options available. So what are we looking for? Is this a device unreachable problem? It's a VPN issue or is it, is it a BGP fault? So I'm going to go with the BGP problem. And then it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to verify the symptoms or, or do you want to diagnose the problem? So I'm just going to go with the diagnose and I'm going to type in the device, again, the same device. And like I said, just a few seconds in, we have the output from that brain in that link and we got the portal link. So this time I'm assuming that I'm, I'm someone who's who's working with NetBrain every day and, and, ha and have this problem coming in. So I'm going to go in and use the output from NetBrain. So I'm just going to go click that. And there we go. Look at that. So let's take a minute to understand what happened here. Number one, using that, that Toronto router or the input that I put in, uh, we were able to extend its layer three neighbors, okay? The second thing we were able to do is, instead of the message pane, you have a bunch of these diagnoses. Unfortunately, everything's red, which just tells me that, hey, it looks like there is a serious problem, right? Look at that. The ACL changed on that device. There's something wrong with the software version. It's not same as the baseline. The route checks have changed. So now, as an engineer, I know exactly what's been happening. So definitely someone has gotten there, made some changes to the router. But most importantly, the value that I want to bring to the table here with the team spot is that you do not have to worry about finding out this device inside of that brain, looking for the right commands, looking for the right automation units inside of that brain. But all of this can be automatic for you, right? All you have to do is go select that option inside of Teams, let NetBrain know what is it that you're looking for, and then NetBrain can present this in front of you in, in the form of a link where you have the map, the message, and the diagnosis. I hope that was helpful, and now you understand how you could use the NetBrain's automation part as part of your workflow. With that, signing off.